Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany. And today we're taking a look at the German military will become Europe's most powerful. Here is why. Let's get into it. Fighter jets and helicopters that don't fly. Standard issue assault rifles that don't shoot straight. Hmm? And shortages in ammunition, boots, and even underwear during what? a NATO mission in Lithuania. Really? These are the headlines that the once feared German military are currently making. Not to mention what? the hundreds of millions of euros that went to consultants in an effort to clean up the army's mess. With very Sounds like America. German high-ranking officials are raising their concerns. And so are NATO allies, where statements such as these... Why are Germans are only terrible at war when they're on our side? <laughs> Germany has oh, that's brutal. To deteriorate. And this is somewhat understandable. Yeah. As Germany was busy integrating the West with the East. Of course. Great World War II, social obviously. Over the last 30 years, there was simply very little incentive. They don't have any have reason for war. As Germany doesn't share a border with potential aggressors like Russia, yeah, yeah. NATO, and especially yeah. the U.S. NATO protection, yeah, protection. of course. And unlike the U.S. and the U.K., Germany had very few overseas commitments. And there was yeah, they don't quite conquer stuff like Britain and America, do they? Hmm. Still remember At least the not anymore. World War II. But now overnight, everything has changed. Only three days after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the mm -hmm. German Chancellor, mm -hmm. Olaf Scholz, made a shocking announcement, declaring that Germany will massively increase its defense spending <gasps> and meet the 2% NATO benchmark. This was met by applause in Parliament, and surveys already that is shocking. show that 75% of Germans support this decision. But how significant is this increase? Let's have a look at defense Let's see. spending across the globe. How are we doing last here? Last year in 2021, they spent fifty-two dollars. No wonder their army is crappy. Sitting at seventh in the world ranking list, seventh slightly in the world. France, but significantly behind the Hold on a second. Let's see this. Okay, hold on a second. Let's take a look at this. Seventh in the world in spending for their military, above France, and at only one point four percent GDP. Okay. So ahead of them is Saudi Arabia, United Kingdom, Russia, India, China, and of course, the United States by a large margin. Of course, America has the most spending. Obviously, everybody knows that. But I'm actually kind of surprised about some of the other people on this list, like Saudi Arabia, definitely. But even like India? I wouldn't have expected India to have such a large army, even though they have such a huge population. I don't know. That being said, Germany doesn't have that big of a population compared to a lot of these countries on the list, and their spending is up there with these bigger countries. So to say that their army is like kind of dysfunctional right now and they still are spending all this money, it should be interesting to see what happens once they like get their stuff together and start spending even more money on their military. Let's just say hopefully they're the good guys this yeah, time. Sure. But if we compare percentage of GDP, Germany ranks much lower. Of the 20 yeah, look at that. military spenders, Germany comes in 15th, 15th. as they only spend 1.4% wow. of their GDP on their army. That's very efficient. Very German of them to be very efficient. Far below the NATO target of 2%. However, once Germany hits the 2% target, things will look very different. Yeah, let's see. Let's because see. Because of Germany's strong economy, military expenditure would rise to 76.12 billion, billion. Dollars, putting Germany into third place ahead of Russia and the UK, <laughs> making My them the God. front runner within the EU and Europe by quite some distance. Of course. And German politicians have said as much, clearly stating that this is the intent. Wow. But it doesn't stop here. In an effort to modernize the military more quickly, yeah. Olaf Scholz has also dedicated a one-time special fund of over 100 billion euros to German defense. This is a lot of money. Oh my but lord. doesn't necessarily equal military money. This video is like a year old now. So I heard of the over a hundred billion that they're gonna spend on the military. And I was like, wow, that's a big number. But coming from America, I'm like, that's a big number. But like, we're spending 700 something billion a year. So it's like, okay, that's, that's a big number, but it's not like crazy, I guess. That's twice as much as they spend in one year. That is a crazy amount of money. That is a crazy jump from what Germany is used to spending. That is actually insane. The UK, France, and Russia are still far ahead when it comes to military strength. Here we can see okay. the comparison between these nations. While Germany does have a significant number mm -hmm. of soldiers, aircraft, and tanks, 
That's that only good. has a very small presence on the sea. France and the UK yeah, have but they don't really have that much sea access, though, submarines, compared to and even three aircraft carriers in between them. The other countries have well, so much more Russia, ease of access to the As to the sea. The weapons, in the aftermath of World War II, it was agreed that Germany of cannot possess Germany nuclear, doesn't have nuclear weapons. or chemical weapons. However, this comparison Dude, 6, is somewhat nukes? and flawed, as it does not I don't know about that, about Russia. Military modernization, high-tech weapons, logistics, military experience, and intelligence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whether Germany will become a military superpower also depends on how the money is spent. Scholz has well, already hinted at a high-level tech wish list, such as the F-35 fighter to replace older tornado aircraft Who from doesn't the love a good F-35? future combat air system, which is developing Gas. together with France... <laughs> Heavy transport helicopters. Everyone wants a gas. Of air helicopters, yeah. Air defense drones, makes sense. Modern drones, warships, love it. Warships. However, yeah. As mentioned, I've played battleships Syria, before, so that Germany makes sense. Germany still seems to be getting the basics wrong. Only around 40% of helicopters and 65% of tanks are operational. Really? And it gets even worse. 60, 40 a percent operate. What? Report found that only 50% of major military hardware is working properly. Therefore, money needs to be spent in getting existing equipment up and running first. And That's as you may abysmal. remember the start of the video, that doesn't the seem very German. The reputation of wasting taxpayers' money. So, okay, will every Germany government the wastes taxpayer European money, though. Possibly, but not until Germany cleans up its current mess and invests the new budget wisely. But next to the world's superpowers, such as the U.S. and China, that's crazy right there. That's budget, crazy. It remains a small player, as it spends way too little. And this really raises the I mean, question, yeah, but does an EU army make sense? Yeah, it's small compared to China and America, but dude, to be the number one army superpower of Europe, that is a very good place to be. And because Germany is like centrally located in Europe, that is a little scary, but like I said, hopefully they're on the good side this time. If it ever comes to that, hopefully it doesn't ever come to that. But if it ever came to that, hopefully they're on the good side this time. It's actually kind of crazy to me that Germany has allowed for 50% of their like heavy machinery in their military to become not operation ready or whatever you want to call it. That does not seem very German to me. I'd be curious to see because like I said, this video is now like a year old or so. I'd be curious to see an updated video of what's been going on over the past year and if any improvements have been made or what they spent the money on and stuff like that. Maybe I'll look for a future video like that. But at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.